What's up guys and welcome to another episode of my mass gain series. Today, once again, we're going to destroy our legs. I have gotta warn you, this workout is not for the faint-hearted. So if you want to absolutely obliterate your legs, then go for it. Otherwise, I can give you a stretching video so you can do this. Are you ready? Let's do this. One thing I want to say from the beginning, guys, GVT, aka German Volume Training, it's not for the faint-hearted. If I were to think about the most sore I was at ever is when I tried this workout for the first time. So if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead. So 10 sets of 10, this will be my first warm-up set. And then I'll go straight into my first working set, which will be 100 kilograms. And then we'll go from there. I'm about to start my first set, 10 repetitions, no matter what. And it's not gonna be a case of increasing the weight with every single set, no. You pretty much set up, start with the weight, which you're gonna continue uh, through the, throughout the series until you reach 10 sets. And then, uh, obviously, if you feel adventurous or if you feel like, wait, it's way too light, then, you know, you, you can increase it. But this has to be a medium to heavy weight. So out of 10, this should be like seven. So it might seem easy in the beginning, but until you're gonna be doing like five, six, seven sets, then you're gonna start to feel the real pain. So. Let's stop talking about this and let's do some work. Okay. What I like about this is because the weight is not super heavy and it gives you the opportunity to actually work on bettering your form. number one done it's 816 let me show you on the on the phone 20 13 I'm not sure if you can see that so yeah let's see how long it takes us in terms of the brakes you shouldn't really necessarily count I mean in my opinion if you want to you can definitely do it but just give yourself just enough time to feel like you're ready to perform for the next set not too much because obviously that will defeat the purpose of uh, working hard, but not too little, so you can finish your uh, 10 repetitions. Set number two. I don't feel like I need that much rest, so for now, it's gonna keep going. Number two done, eight to go. What should you do during your breaks? Well, don't just sit around, don't go on the phone, don't get distracted, just stretch. Use this time to do a quad stretch, to do a hamstring stretch, or even a glute stretch. Just get enough break, enough rest, so you can perform. That's it, nothing longer than that. Okay, let's go, set number three. seven to go. One thing you should have close to you is definitely water because as you can hear I'm oh, out of breath quite a bit. So make sure you're hydrated, make sure you move around because moving around, shaking your legs, shaking your hands will actually help you with your recovery. The blood is moving better and get ready for the fourth step.
as we are going hard, let's look at the legs. Look at the leg pump. Ooh. Very good. Four down. Six to go. Set number five. That's done. I don't know if you can see. 8:21. Yo, my bro, what's up? I have a question for you. It's Sunday evening. You could be spending time with your friends or with your partner or whatever. I would like to know why are you here in the gym training at this time? Sunday for me is the best day to be here. You know, gym is empty. I can focus on my muscle. You know, I can push up. I can push up myself a bit more. And you know why? Should I be at home, you know, resting? So I when you could do something for your health, for your body, exactly, I'd you feel know. stronger, feel better, feel more confident. Yeah, I like to keep my motivation high, so you know, it's always a pleasure. How many times per week are you training? I try, you know, like three, four. You know, uh, four is my goal, but you okay. know, it depends on the work or you know, like my yeah. daily routine, how it goes, how I feel. Yeah. As well. yeah. So. I can see you're building some muscle, almost uh, ripping off this uh, you. top, you know. So thank you, thank you keep going, much. my bro. Cheers. Number six. Number six, done. In a way, another advantage of this is that you can actually play with different stances. You can try different things as you are doing the sets. Obviously, you can stick with one stance. You can change it from workout to workout if your goal is to basically build up on this style of training. But, uh, you know, just keep it fun at the same time. If you like trying something new uh, during a set, that's totally fine. Just, you gotta do 10 sets of 10. That's the ideal. Okay, number seven. Let's go number seven. Okay, that was number seven, and as I predicted, she starts to get real. I not only get fatigue in my legs, but my back starts to feel a little bit fatigued. Not in a bad way, I mean, you're constantly holding the back and stuff like that, so it's expected, but it just requires like a different degree of uh, focus, because while being fatigued, obviously, Something can go wrong just like that. So you have to be careful. That's why I'm saying, yeah, it's gonna be hard, but try your best to stay into your sets, stay into your mind, stay into your body. Don't get oh, distracted because that will actually make your workout worse. I mean, sometimes it's, uh, it's not, not possible. You know, someone will come and say hello, but you know, just try to keep it short and just keep on doing your sets. Set number. Eight. Let's do this.
some piece of advice, obviously. You know, it's good to do this. But if you feel like something is going wrong, if you feel pain in your lower back, if you feel like you can't control, if you have the opportunity to look in the mirror and you see, uh, if you're shaking a little bit, that's fine. But uh, if the form goes awfully wrong, that's fine. Just lower the weight a little bit. You're going to be better off doing it lighter, but on a more safe manner. Number nine, baby. Number nine. Uh, last two sets. <sighs> we can do this. Set. I'm gonna give you a face-to-face -face preview and yeah, it's gonna be painful, but I freaking love it oh. 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 Last one. Ooh. One more. Uh, I will be why not? Oh. Yes. 10 sets of 10. We are done. We have done it. Oh. That took a lot out of me. Uh, it's not the weight, but it's just the massive amount of volume which kills you. Okay, so we've done all this volume with the squats and now I'm going to finish with two exercises because I feel like the squats I haven't hit these muscle groups uh, that much, which would be the hamstrings and the calves. I'm going to do four sets of these. Uh, I'm actually going to superset. Luckily, this and this are very close to each other. I'm going to do 15 repetitions here, as heavy as I can, and then I'm going to do the calf press. And uh, that will be the workout for today. It's a very good uh, way to do legs, leg day, if you don't really have time. Um, it's Sunday night, so I just wanted to come in, go out, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let's do this. For some reason, I always, always, when I do this towards the end, I, especially if my quads are pumped, I really, really feel the hamstrings. <clears throat> uh, finish this, straight away go to this second exercise. Just push the leg press as far as it goes, 100 kilograms. can also add up some uh, body weight stuff. Just gonna go here on the side of the machine, stretch as much as you go as you can. Just go all the way up, squeeze, stretch and squeeze 20 times. before and I'll say it again when it comes to leg day you can't just play around you just have to go all out otherwise it's gonna have skinny legs of course focus on technique but proper intensity is absolutely crucial 
don't forget that. Oh well, yeah, guys, uh, that's what I wanted to say at the end of this workout. As always, I really appreciate you being here, watching my video and uh, supporting me. As always, don't forget to smash that like button. Please share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.